The rate of substitutions is based on how often a population goes from one allele to the next allele to the next allele over and over again. So what is the substitution rate in the wild type allele for a population? Well, the rate of substitution is based on assuming a mutation rate of a new allele. So assuming that beneficial mutations are rare, the overall rate of substitution should be determined by the rate of neutral mutations outside of selection. Kimura discovered this, and since most substitutions are not seen by selection being neutral, the rate of substitution is the best observable mutation rate anyone can use and why we use it over phylogeny-based assumption rates that do not align with one another whatsoever. Remember, evolutionists build phylogenetic trees based on an assumed split or divergence. Then, compute the number of changes or substitutions on each branch. Then, date the split using fossils or geology. Then, infer the age of another split. So their entire evolutionary mutation rate is built around their own model. And as you know, it is built off pure assumptions of the past that they admit they do not have evidence for, all to obtain the answers that agree with them. How do I know that they are wrong? Easy. Just look at this chart. Their own data proves them wrong. You see, when looking at this chart, you can see that the cow and horse supposedly diverged at the same time as the rodent and the rabbit even though the rabbit and the rodent have a much faster generation time, they have exactly the same substitution rate. This should not be true if evolution was true. This is why they cannot see the obvious because their own theory won't permit it. Remember, we should expect populations with shorter generation times to diverge faster, but that is not what they see, and the chart here exposes them. Evolutionists have to hold to the selectionist theory. Basically, molecular clocks are untrustworthy. Either they were faster in the past, or many fixations are beneficial. That's what they have to say. Contrary to what we actually observe in nature.